This video will demonstrate the specific techniques and positions required to utilize Optos Fundus photography in pediatric patients. It has seen greater use in kids because it can capture a high resolution 200 degree view of the retina in a single shot and in less than half a second. First things first, we dilate the pupils. For kids younger than 12 months, we use a pre-mixed solution of phenylephrine 1% and psychopentylate 0.2%. For kids greater than 12 months, we use psychopentylate 1% and can add 2.5% phenylephrine for darker eyes. For the best photos, two pairs of hands are advised with auto mode turned off. To enable the child to be in close proximity with the camera's aperture, remove the head and chin rest. Raise the table to its highest setting or to suit the operator. Flying baby position, particularly suited to infants. Pass your dominant hand through the baby's legs and support the chest slash chin area. Your other hand is placed on the occiput for stability. Guide the infant towards the camera's aperture whilst the imaging technician captures the photos. Oral sucrose can be given two minutes prior or applied to the first interdigital skin fold to help with procedure tolerance. Back to front position. Particularly useful in slightly older babies. Tuck your dominant arm underneath the baby's arm and into the contralateral armpit. Use the other hand to support the head. Maneuver the baby towards the camera's aperture whilst the imaging technician captures the photos. The technique can also be performed in a seated position. The rear headlock position, especially useful in an uncooperative patient that is combating the machine and best performed in a seated position. Tuck both hands underneath the child's armpits and stabilize the head on both sides. Guide into the camera's aperture. The eyelids can be opened gently to assist image capture. Older children can be imaged while standing, sitting or kneeling. Instruct the child to look into the camera's aperture and guide the head whilst taking photos.